Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I did my nails. Now I did not record this because I honestly did not know how they were going to turn out. This is the first time using gum gel for a full set and the reason I did the gum gel for the full set is because I've been watching that poly gel and it looked very interesting and it, it honestly just looks like gum gel to me. Um, maybe it's a little thicker but you can get thickness with gum gel as, as well. Uh, this also was inspired by Denise Johns. She has done tons of gum gel videos. Definitely go check her out. I will try to find one of her gum gel videos and link it down below. Um, but this is my new set and I went ahead and went square this time. I thought the square looked really really nice. Let's get close. This is how they turned out. They actually turned out a lot better than what my normal nails look like when I do a set with just regular gel. They turn out very nice and smooth. Not a whole lot of bumps, not a whole lot of filing or buffing or shaping. Okay, so what you're going to do, of course, prepping is very, very important. Almost the most important thing to do. You're going to have to prep your nails. The first thing that I did was I went ahead and clipped my nail, my natural nail. Um, I buffed it really good, cleaned it off with alcohol. Then I took my tip and I used the stiletto tips. I got these tips a long time ago online. I think it was on eBay. Um, they're just these tips here. They're clear. And then what I did is I cut them like right there, I think. Actually, I think I cut them a little further down, so it was about right there. So they looked like that. And I have to use this here because I can't find my practice nail thing. So I have went ahead and put it on here for you guys so I can show you how I did it. Alright, so after I applied my tip, I went ahead and smoothed down the, the um, where the tip meets your natural nail. I buffed that and filed that so that it was nice and level with my fingernail, my, my nail bed. Uh, then I wiped off all the dust with a nail brush. I took my prep and dehydrate and I put it on the nail bed only. And I did that twice. Then I took my primer from um, Tomes. And this is an acid-free, low-odor primer, Ultra Bond. And I put that on twice, right on my nail bed. Don't touch your cuticle or sidewalls because it will burn. Oh, you try not to anyway. Alright, so after I got that done, um, buff let me go back. I did buff the tip as well. And as you can see here, this is already buffed. Okay, So you're going to want to do that before you put that primer and dehydrator on. Are, I used a tiny little bit of my T3 Fiber Gel by Star Nail. I got this on eBay. Okay, I took a tiny bit of this color. Tiny, tiny bit. And then I took a whole lot of the new Madam Glam Soak Off Gel Polish Builder Gel in a bottle. This one is the Builder Builder Light Beige. And that is what mostly I have. And it's supposed to be Soak Off. As you can see here. Okay. Now I don't know how, I think they turned out really light because of the cornstarch, because it's white. So I think that's how they turned out lighter. Then just made this purposely for my nails. I got these little pots on eBay. They're very, very handy. I love them. They work really great. Um, here is my gum gel. That is, uh, it's like a, a nude, a very light, light nude. And as you can see, it's quite thick. Okay, that's how thick I wanted it. It is like the poly gel. In between an acrylic and a gel. Okay. You can make it thicker. 
with cornstarch or acrylic, whatever suits your fancy. I like the cornstarch because it does not dry and you can work with it a lot longer. All right, and then um, this cures in one minute in my LED UV lamp. Uh, but I did put it in longer because what I did was when I put one of the when I put the gel on my nail I did it in one one scoop like I did it with one bead you might as well say bead I did it with one bead or one dollop of the gel on all nails this is all one bead um, and then I would cure it I would like flash cure it for 20 seconds and then do the next deal and the next and the next and then I went back and fully cured them for one minute so and they are hard as a rock like they are hard as a rock fully cured okay all right so pretend my primer and dehydrator and all that is on the snail already I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in you're gonna go ahead and get your brush some of my mix and it is quite thick, so you're going to get a dollop of it, just like that. And I can sit here with it for a while, and you can see it will slowly start to level, but very slowly. Alright, so this might be a little harder than doing it on my own nails, so just bear with me. I don't want to get too much on this nail. I guess I'll just... Okay. Let me take some of this off. off. As you see, it's still in the same spot that it was. All right, now I take it and I start to form it. Now, you can use um, isopropyl alcohol to help form, but you're just going to work it. You're just going to keep working and working and working and work it up into there, pull it down, I mean it takes, it takes some time, okay, I'm not going to lie, it did take me some time to um, get these perfect but that's the thing with this you have time you have plenty of time it's not gonna go as long as you get it thick enough you have plenty of time to work this gel where you want it you know what I mean and then if you do it too thick you can always file that off okay Okay, so just say for instance, let me get a little bit more down here. If you need a little more in different spots, you can take your brush, dip it into the gel, and then put it where it needs to be. Let's see, I need some more over here. some more up here I hope you guys can see that angle all right so as you can see and it's already starting to smooth out but I mean you can help it by taking your brush and just start working that gel into those areas Alright, so now this side is a little thicker, so you're going to bring it down. Okay. Okay. Okay, after you have it where you want it, you're going to then take your nail 
and you're going to flip it upside down and you're going to hold it like that for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And that's going to help build the apex up. So I'm just going to hold it like this for a few minutes or a few seconds. Okay, you see the thickness of it? And like I said, you can add more gel if you want. There's the side view. Okay. There's the other side. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And I'm going to do it for the full 60 seconds. After it comes out of your lamp, you're going to go ahead and take your cleaning solution. I just use um, isopropyl alcohol. And you're going to go ahead and wipe off the tacky layer. And then you're going to, of course, file, shape, buff. And you're going to do all that good stuff. Okay, so that is how I did my new set. If any of you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and want to see more. And that's it, guys. That is how I did my new set. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.